Sorry, this is my reverberating for me. She's out. Sound <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. It's about to start. She logged into things. Yeah, I'm gonna lock these guys up. And I want to be in my folder. Okay. Oh goodness. I think I can. I think I can do this. I do this. Just okay. Well, looks like we kind of well. Let's just start chatting. Oh. The tank top. It is so hot. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me fix the camera. I figured it was going to be kind of weird. So, the thing about this camera, I have the choice to unscrew it and screw it on to like an arm. And I might have to start doing that because this, you can't see it. This thing, I can pull it off actually right here, like this clip thing, it's great. Actually, I really do like it. Dang, and this camera gets so hot. So I worry for it, I worry for it a lot. Um, it has like a pedestal thing, but I don't have like a pedestal space to like hold it. So I kind of need an arm here. I mean, I have one, but the other camera's on it. Really, what? What else can you do here? So, since you're mostly not going to be watching me, I'm going to put it back. It just kind of slips on here. Just because while you see random shit around, I'm going to put my hand over the camera. I apologize. Okay. I, th I think we're good. I just wish it had a better kind of clip. It's great on straightforward, but the moment you're not, 
straightforward causes problems. Since I have my monitor attached to the back of my screen. But I do love this camera, actually. Okay. Okay. So, this week is, we get to get back to No Man's Sky, and there's a new update. That'll be tomorrow. Um, the lighting is really weird because at this time of year, the sun comes right through this window. I am going to see if turning that will help. But it's not going to matter too much. You're going to be looking at the screen. So, let's do that and why I can't. There we go. Let's uh, switch over. Yay! And did I do anything since last week like I said I was going to do? No. Nope. Nope. I did not. So I was going to take a look at that. It doesn't take too long to do, so I just wanted to make sure I had, and I thought I closed that. There we go. Because I need to get a few things settled here. So we're going to take the World Atlas part first. Hard not to be overwhelmed when I have like so many things to do, I feel like. But I think it'll be okay. Mm. Let's see. What am I doing? I just want to double check because I have my regions and my countries. I got all that taken care of. So we're looking at nature, I believe. Yeah. And this is all in there. So we need to, we'll do Guanabara. Let's just head over to those so we can grab them really quick. What did I do this week? This weekend was just really full of, I got some rocks done, lots of organizing, working on things, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with myself. Um, I felt like I was really busy, but at some point my brain shut down, so I just played Yakuza 6, which doesn't take a lot. It's mostly movie, walking simulator, and everyone's how a random fight happens. <laughs> and so, and it all kind of works the same, but the cutscenes are pretty long, so you're usually watching most of it, or you're running around town, like, just walking around and picking stuff up or dropping, you know. So it's a pretty mindless game as far as play goes, and but I enjoy it when I really can't. All right, nature. Fauna and flora, we'll go to fauna first. And we'll grab that. I think I may have already copied these in once, but that's okay. Just covering my bases. Oh, I want to change the name of this one. There should be one here. And we're so close to characters. And then coming through and like organizing like all the stuff I've written and just making a plan. I mean, I said this is like, seems really tedious and a lot of people like, well, just write. Well, I do write. I'm trying to get back in the habit of writing every day and that's been very difficult, but I'm getting there. Um, I am getting a little bit written like every other day at this point. So if I can do that. So just writing is fine. But at some point, especially when you're writing fantasy, you're going to need to organize. Now, there's definitely people who write fantasy that don't organize anything at all, ever. And more power to them. I'm just not that person. Um, so I opened the wrong thing. I want to go here. Aura. And part of the reason why I want to get this set up first and go through what I have is because if I write too much, I'm going to be in an even worse boat. Oh, those boxes need to be. Well, I'll have to fix them. And I don't 
what I was doing there. Something didn't translate well. There's only these three things, so we'll... And we'll make this O2. And that's good for now. And then minerals. Nature. Um, minerals. Oops. Keep bringing that up because I'm hoping to get to some stuff in there today. Um, what else? I've really, really lately, I've really been missing writing groups, like having a writing group to go to and write with people. Having, I, I do have some friends online that get together and write, and that's fine. And I do that when I can. Um, but it's not the same. It's not on video call, so we don't have like that back and forth going. But you can have like an in person or on a video call, it's just in a Discord chat. So it doesn't, Discord chat, you can have back and forth, but then you have to, one of that, where you can be writing and doing stuff and talking at the same time. Um, what's the other issue? You know, it's just, whether it's a writing group or a critique group, um, I'm not, I don't know that I'm in the right place. I have one critique group that I see, but they meet very rarely, so, so that's not quite the same either. Oops, we're going to go to races. Make sure we got that. So many things. Fine. Okay, I think we're good there. And then we just have the nature itself. So let me just do a scan through. I think we have everything. Yeah. So we'll just grab that nature and section. So I'm currently reading um, a book of short stories on unicorns, one of Peter S. Beagle's uh, compilations. I think it's Unicorns, Immortal Unicorns 2 that I picked up. I also just finished Deerskin. Um, it's hard, you know, like I, I want to read new stuff too. I just have all these books that I've picked up over the years. And come on, give me that page. happen here um, I might need to look at that in an article for here uh, at flora and at fauna no way there's a space shouldn't be it's weird Oh, I do need to go back. Not go back. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I want to keep that open. Um, because I have another card I didn't realize. Oh, I did it again. I'm a little scattered too today, so I do apologize. Linked it twice. Ah, that's not what I want. Oh. 
Um. See if this makes a difference when I do this. Hmm. Well, I do want to add another card. Here. And we want... Let's go back. Let's look at the auto link here. No, we want Scott. Oh, no, that was the one. Okay, no. I'm going to skip you and we want to see exit. So let's save oh, for eligibility 55% complete. And it's 300 word. Oh, world building summer camp. It's not something I'm really participating in, but that's cool. Um, so if we come back here, go to nature. Yeah. And right now we have the three cards. That's, I like this because you can kind of scroll through and read it. It just had the full article there though. <laughs> Probably because it's so short. Um, maybe I can just unlink those. While well, it's cool, they are being linked below. Save. There we go. That looks a bit better. Okay, so that's nature. So, and then I think we're just at religion really quick. Yeah. So, let's go look at the religion section. I think what we're going to do is we're going to name this a one. And we'll rename that fully in a moment. So I kind of want to do the same cards here, but I'm not going to worry about that too much tonight because I'd like to move forward a bit. But I'm going to do the same cards. Oops, I hit the same thing again, didn't I? I still wish that this would expand. I should look to see where I can find a setting. Um, so we need... This one, and we can go new note. Go to I believe atheism is not a religion, but for intents and purposes. And then we have. Temple of Union. Uh, 
mean, overall, I think my thoughts on um, World Anvil is that I do really like it. It's definitely something that when it first came out, I didn't consider at all. But it, it does really help me organize and think about those things. You know, I found that using the templates seemed cool at first, but didn't always seem to work. But at least not for what I was doing. So that doesn't mean it won't. And let's see. It's the Temple of Union. The next one is, of course, the Money Con Goddess. I don't know. Oops. Note. Four. Many colored I can spell. I can't tell honestly if sometimes like autocorrect is just getting overzealous or if I'm really forgetting how to spell words. Um a little bit worried about that, honestly. I find typing more difficult than I used to, too. Handwriting is not an option. And then I just realized I pasted Temple of Union in here again. And still hit that. It's gonna be okay. I need to look into is see if we can have music on these. Like, I think there is. There's like a music option. So I like music when I write. Oops, there it goes. All right. So new note, and this next one is It's a great goddess, right? No, that's part of the mini gallery. What did I put here? A serial, maybe? No, the oh, nah, that's right. Nah, and worm, and then shatter, and then the walking gods. So, let's see. Five. Nah. A shattered goddess. Why does that look like I'm spilling that wrong? I think I am. Yeah, it's just we two Ds. There we go. And a new note, and this could be 06. Ever worm. Ah, come on. Sorry, checking my mouse. Sometimes it doesn't move in the right way, and it, I don't know, it sounds like a shiver of my arm, and it's not pleasant, and it's weird. I'm weird, if you hadn't noticed. Um, so we have a worm. And 
need to rearrange some things on this desk, honestly. Didn't I write way more than this? Wait, wait, this is why I do the remove the last thing. Oh. What did I had? Nope, I didn't. It was just that, and it's not correct. So, we will fix this. Or at least make it look nicer. DLC, save, view. Okay, so I guess that's all I have on the Ember Worm at the moment. That's okay. For some reason I thought there was more, but I think maybe it went into the Walking Gods after that. Or I had something somewhere else, maybe, in the Necropolis section. Did I do here? <laughs> oh dear. This is why you go back and check your work, I guess. Okay. Keep hitting that, I know, I know. God, today is just that day. And let's just double check what we had in here again. Yeah, so I added some stuff to that. All right, I think we're good. So we'll go back to religion. And that's what goes in there, and I'll have to put some cards there too. Okay, so that section's all up. Okay, technology. Oh wait, magic. Magic. Technology. What did I do there? I thought I'd gotten, oh I'd made it and I made magic, other magic, magic items, and that should match. Right? Yep. Okay, so we're at science and technology. And we started a technology page. I think, and I think we're good there. Technology and named ships. So, I think we started named ships, honestly. Um, so, I've said this probably multiple times, that this world is reliant on magic to a point, uh, but they use magic in their technology. And I think I said that before, the fuel crystals are a magical stone, but they use them to power things like blasters, trains, sliders, cars, planes, airships, the whole gamut. It's basically the fuel. Um... But I do have a few name ships. Um, so I have the Forest Pyre. Um, this is a Bentaran airship. Um, it's an ambassadorial ship. Um, Ambassador Marissa Bentaris. She is the wife of Prince Harmon, um, who is the second oldest brother. And so in Ventaris, where we have the Emperor, and then we have his firstborn son, Floric. Floric has no issue. So, Harmon and his wife, Marissa, their children are next in line for the throne. 
um, assuming that Harmon himself does not live to see it transfer of power. Um, so, so it's Floric, so it's the Emperor Floric, Harmon, and Harmon and Marissa's children. So, um, Dove's Call is a Residian Armada ship. Um, it was a trader ship, so it's that was kind of pressed into service. Um, at the beginning of this, um, oh no, wait, that's a different I'm mixing things up. Residia, so it's a Residia Armada ship, so it's a ship for part of um, the Armada for airship. Uh, for the Empire of Residia, and it um, carries Eliana and the survivors of Talathe to Residia. That's in that second book that I wrote. Um, Blue Runner, that's a personal airship, so much, much smaller, um, of Crown Prince Floric of uh, The Salil, so this is the Salil was a Bentaran trading galley um, assigned to assist Hamalia. Um, during the events of Dreamfire, but it was requisitioned by the Himalayan government, um, captained by a man named Albright. And that's technology. Um, we have features of the planet. I think that that's everything in there. So I think I have the, let me just double check. I'm 90% sure. So I need to remove that. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. Science and technology. Oh, I don't have the ships yet. I did put ships in RNC and name ships. I think I stuck it in here. Oh, I did. So I just need to reorganize it, I think. So let's edit this article, though, because I see some, like, I don't want to be there. And write that in a paragraph tag. There we go. And let's go take a look at our articles and rearrange some things. So science and technology, we're going to take this ship and I want to put it in. There we go. So now we have named ships and science and technology. All right, pretty happy with that. Uh, commerce and trade, let's, I'm going to remove this one. So there it goes. And that's the encyclopedia portion of everything, I think. So let's take a look at what I have here. Um, yeah, so the world, uh, this is the world meta. I a little picture I drew once. Magic. Nice. So it's characters we're looking at. Um, let's do the glossary though first. Where did I have, did we have like just a glossary area? I don't think so. Um, So let's add a new character. Uh, glossary. And we're not going to set a parent, so it should be. Did we do it? Nope. There we go. And then we're going to hit that category and add an article. Do we have a glossary template? I forget. It has been a bit. I don't think so. I don't think there was a glossary item either, but we can look. Hey, set it. Content trees, player characters. No, no. No real glossary thing. Hmm. I feel like I found one once. 
No, I don't remember. Well, that's okay. We'll just do a generic. Glossary. And... Go to the sections first. Okay. So we'll clean up starting here. Clean up this. Don't need any of that anymore. All right. Airship. Blaster. So, okay. So we talked about airships a bit. Any, any air vehicle that uses inflatable sails the air. So this is important. They sail the air in these airships. They look, they don't necessarily look like sea ships. Some do, um, but often they don't. Um, Residia has these armor plated airships that don't look anything like other ships. They're, they, they, they're probably like the most advanced technologists. They have some different designs, but most there are other types of ships we'll get to. So blasters are small, handheld laser guns, uh, clockwork or work. So any mechanical system, when they talk about it, it they use the word clockworks or works. And that stems from like a myth of someone creating like the first clock. And so it becomes this clockwork or it works like clockwork. So that becomes hard mythology. That's kind of how I worked that history of that word in there. Um, copper sheath is a large engine powered by a fuel crystal usually found in an airship so it's uh, copper is the metal which conducts and creates that reaction with the fuel crystals that allow them to power things but when they talk about a copper sheath they're talking about in a very large engine um, and like I said it's usually an airship engine of some type uh, glider. So these are the small like planes. Um, these must be launched from a tall tower or dropped in the air and then glide to the ground. Um, so these were used. They're still used from places since airship towers tend to be so high. Sometimes um, some places still use them. They can still be used and dropped from airships. But they do have what they call glider planes now. And this is just because they have the same shape as a glider. Um, I imagine I imagine these to be smaller. They don't carry like a ton of people at the most, probably four. Not like the huge, stupid ones that like they had in World War II. But a glider plane is a really small, single-engine plane. Um, again, the most can carry like four people. Any more, any more than that is going to be a toss. They haven't really gone for planes. Um, because they didn't have so many airship disasters and found and have a much safer fuel source, airships worked and they put their technology towards that. Gold bits are bits. The thin disks of gold used for currency can be broken into small pieces for change. So there's eight and that's actually something to put there. There are eight bits to a coin. Um, it's a pretty universal currency. There are other places far off that have it, but for the main Southern Hemisphere, um, bets are pretty well universal. A mage slide or a mag slide is kind of like a hover train. Um, sled is a sleek two seated slider with no windshield or roof so think of like a scooter um i'm actually going to because there's another they also called them slider scoot um they could a windshield can be added they don't usually have them or have small ones um, slider, any hover vehicle, usually a car or a scooter type vehicle. And they can range from anything from looking pretty much like a car 
with the roof and everything like that, but there's a lot of open seat ones. Uh, practicality is here, neither here nor there. Uh, obviously, they can fudge the design a lot more and still deal with the terrain, which is an advantage. Um, you don't need to worry about it as much, but unless it's completely uneven, it becomes very difficult for a slider. So roads are still made. Um, but it's not, um, it's not impossible to go off road in one with like a convertible with no roof and like very like not working doors. <laughs> um, thin stone tablet. We talked about thin stone before a work bot. It's a small copper clockwork automated for cleaning and gardening. So there are like these kind of work bot magical bot systems around. Um, there are some in Himalaya. They're very prevalent in Residia. Bintara uses them from time to time, but you don't see them as much. But Residia is basically where those come from. So that's the glossary terms. Let's get these in there. I don't think there's anything I really want to add at the moment. Find replace. So we're going to use another tool. Place it with nothing, so replace all. And actually, I'm going to undo that after I hit it. And we're actually going to replace that with a B. And I can. Oh, wait, I can sit here and just do this really quick. Take care of that, and then I can do this. I can go a little bit faster. Oops. Undo. Do. Um. Let's do it right. There we go. And then I just need to this. So find a replace would be really great there. Hi. Um, M3 gal three don or me gal Edon. Um, does let me see here. Does Yasya sound like a fictional god? I mean, it could be. Um. It definitely has that uh, kind of like a Middle Eastern Hebrew kind of sound, but I think that that could be a fictional god. I don't think that there, there I don't know if there's one in my name. A good, a good thing to do if you're wondering about if a name is good or not, if it comes up anywhere else, is always to Google it, just to see if anything comes up that you don't want associated with what you're doing. But I, I like that. I think that's a cool god name. Oh, welcome. All right. Now we're going to do this right. There we go. All in one go. And I put the page. Oh. Made it all disappear. Um, so I am currently working on world building for um, a fantasy series in a world that I've created. Um, so... Honestly, I wrote the first original draft of the book um, and I edited it and everything else and I thought it was good and nobody told me it was as horrible as it was. 
I had agents look at it. I had I was got fulls and partials, and it was a finalist in one of the Har- Harper Voyager things, and but never quite made it. <laughs> You're doing a comic? Oh, that's cool. I am not so great at the drawing. I like to paint a lot, and I do that sometimes here, but not so great at the drawing. But yeah, so I, uh, a few years ago, I decided to revise that first time. I read it again after I'd put it down, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so horrible. Who let me write this? So <laughs> I started over, and I have a first draft, and I'm working on the second one, but I wanted to sit, and yet I kind of like most people, I was going through a time and um, didn't write for a while, for about a year and a half. And so this is when we get back into it. Oh, you're just doing the writing? Okay. So that's cool. Um, that's definitely a lot of people do that where they write and then work with an artist. Um, what kind of artist are you looking for? Is there a specific comic style that you're looking, looking for? Why is that doing that? Uh, I don't know why it was looking side by side on mine. I'm going to this one. Superhero and horror. Okay, are you looking for like more of an American style or manga? Here's the glossary. American style. Hmm. Yeah, I don't follow too many people who do an American style anymore. There's, but there's definitely a few out there. And um, gosh, I don't even know where artists would post for like that kind of thing where they'd say they're looking for to work with a writer or anything. That's really cool. It'd be cool to see. I like, I do like comics. Um, I'm not up to date on most comics anymore, but I do like them. I, I had a small comic collection that I, I have since given to my daughter. Um, but, and I, if I come across them, I, I do read them. I tend to, I'll, I'll read them online too. I do like doing that. Why am I having? Okay. So there's a glossary. What is happening? Okay, so the sidebar is there. And the content is correct. Save as a hint and tip. Oh, that's cool. I didn't actually know about the ad system. Oh, kind of like, um, what's that called with the guy who played the raccoon? I'm so bad with names. They just did, they did a movie and they did like a small series on something similar to that. I basically made them gods kind of thing. Oh goodness. Yeah, that's different. That's a nice twist on it though. Some are psionic and some are zombies. <laughs> is it like a genetic thing that decides that or is it just That's part of the story is that you have to figure that out, like what, how, why that's happening. I don't know what's happening here. I 
don't know why this is showing up down here. It should be showing up on the side. Ugh. It's driving me nuts. Oh, okay. So some people just, like, can't handle a certain amount, and it's about overdosing and things like that. Okay. Now that sounds like a really cool concept. I'd definitely be down to read that. Oh, I know why. Because I didn't hit those magic buttons. There we go. Nope. Zip. Oh. Is that happening? I don't want to go through and like figure that out right now. I want to work on other stuff. Okay. Where am I at with things? That was a glossary. Okay, cool. So, we're on to characters. A mushroom called the Heart of Solomon. It looks like a bleeding heart. Hmm. Okay. I like bleeding hearts. Those are really cool flowers. Um, you know, there's a there's an herb called, like, I think the Root of Solomon. It's, it's supposed to have, like, magical properties and things like that, too. Um, but, yeah, there's some weird-ass mushrooms out there. So did they take, so did the, did the pharma company, like, take that and make it, like, a pill? And that, like, super concentrated it or something. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to look at the template here. Dashboard. Okay. Huh. Why did they, why would they decide to like, if it's like penicillin and they mix that with, or that's just the description of like how it works. It works kind of like an antibiotic but has those psychoactive properties. Okay, yeah. Characters. Okay, so I started a few character ones here. Mm. But let's, I had them separated out by region, but now I'm wondering if I should separate them out by story. It doesn't really work for short stories if they show up in books, right? Uh, let's see, the reason the pharma company did this is because they're looking for an immortal, an immortal, yeah, I mean, totally, that, that's completely believable, because, right, that's like the holy grail, right? Curing old age is, is always the goal. Okay, I'm going to start with the new one. We'll take, let's look at Gebo, just so I can try this out. And 
let's see, we'll try character. So here we go. I'm going to paste that in here again because I want this. Let's think about Gawa. So this is the fun part. So I guess we'll start with the Iho characters first. I think I'm going to keep them separated out by origin. I think that that makes the most sense to me. Oh, she has dark eyes. Um, tan skin. She's one of the eye house, so she kind of looks like that. Hair, uh, gray. Her, see, but hers is gray at that point. Originally dark. Um, height. Um, I don't really know. I always kind of match her as a mid-size. She has more of an imposing presence. Um, she's a female. Oh, I like that this is... There's more choices there as well as it's a freeform box. Age. Gosh, how old did I make Gemma? Did I... Okay, so this is where I wanted to pull up timeline stuff too. Where's the file the recent? This is the timeline that I'm working off of. Um, uh oh, something's wrong on the dates here, I just noticed. Oh, I'll have to fix that. I just realized some of these dates are messed up. That's okay. So, if I do Gevo in here... His mother's born, Eliana's born, I see he's born. Because that's the old date. Do I have the date wrong on here? No, I'm curious. Oh, I do have 81 room of 495. So, did I... Did I... 95? No, because that's 69. Why are these not showing in order? Character. Oh! They're showing in character. I don't know. I want, um, no, nope. so that has it there and then story arc. I don't like why this is not in order now. Gosh. Uh, so yeah, so originally, so in the first book that I wrote, um, that I, since been run writing it is it's it's about it's kind of about taking control of your fate so this is other word other world fantasy obviously since i'm doing a lot of world building and the um what do you call it so they have these mages called dreamers that um, use mostly this kind of mental magic, but also there are dreamers who can do more. And it starts out in this area where um, this kind of neutral castle in these mountains where they dreamers come and basically are given opportunities. They're, they're sorted by their magic. They're matched with, um, they have a military contract. They provide dreamers to militaries for those that want to go that way. Um, help provide dreamers because because dreamers is the main 
being able to use the dream is the main way communication works. It's kind of a mind to mind thing. So most people are some level of dreamer, whether all they can do is listen or not, but there's definitely a whole cast of people who do not have any magic. Um, and they, they're definitely considered a lower class. The, what happens is they're, they're going along about their business. There's a young woman who is about to get married, uh, another young man who has been climbing kind of the ranks at this castle called the Lorne, um, and has been doing very well for herself. They're going about their business, and this woman shows up who can do things that they've never seen before. Um, she has the ability to enchant items, which is extremely rare, but she also exhibits all these other powers. And while they're learning to deal with her, it seems like the moment she shows up, the world around them begins crumbling. Um, there are several suicides. Uh, there is, has been this growing religion about the broken goddess, which is suddenly declared to be the state religion and the king of that particular country, while this is considered a neutral area, the king around it declares that he owns them and that this is the state religion. And people that they've known every day that they thought were their friends, their family, suddenly start turning on them and reveal to be part of this kind of crazy growing religion and they end up having to um, go on the run and it's the first book really deals with them and trying to survive as this world is changing at such a rapid place I did write a second book um, which uh, actually takes place just a little bit later um not quite a lot. It's actually a little bit at the same time um, as this that happens across the sea about a country that is... They just went through a war, which they lost horribly. They um, had a horrible drought. And because of that drought, um, famine kind of... Famine spread across the country as well as disease... And the country is really falling apart. The catalyst for that is that the heir to the throne dies. And it turns out the king has a bastard daughter who is actually was sent to a convent for in a different religion. I have a few religions in this world. Um, and they bring her back to take the throne when this dies. What she finds is that there's not much of a throne to take. The country that they lost the war to is expecting them, her, to marry one of their princes. And then that country be kind of consumed into this other empire. Um, at the same time, another border empire is trying to get them to, for her to basically do the same thing. Not necessarily marry their prince, but to hand over control of the country to them. And there's pros and cons of each, but it all kind of ends up in war. And she's not prepared. She is not, doesn't have any skills to rule. Most of the people still around are either really old or really young. Just because so many of them, I mean, it's just a tiny thumbprint of a country. And they're stuck between two empires. And it's kind of about, it's mostly about her and some of the friends that she makes. At the same time, there's that creeping religion from the other one that starts creeping into this country as well. So that's kind of the overarching thing is that creeping broken goddess religion. Um, uh, the Illumins. Um, so I have one religion in the story that people worship as Illumins, but they're and long as, huh. So they're like so they're worshipping a dead people. That's interesting. I think. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, 
do they know anything about them or is it just like legends and things like that? Figure out. Like, how do I... Oh, I split the screen. I want to do that. They know a lot about them. Okay, that's kind of cool. Are you doing, like... Are you doing, like, a... An other world as well? Like, are you creating a completely different world than Earth? Or is this, like, an alternate Earth... Set on a future Earth. Okay. That's interesting. Sorry, dog's doing something below me. Oh. Uh, I don't know how best to... Well, let me undo everything so we can just see. I'm going to have to figure out why this isn't grouped together correctly, because I was using this to kind of help me calculate birth date. So we'll come back to that. Back to Gabo. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm not going to create a new article. I'm just going to just human. Oh, do I have to like make a separate one for that? Well, I guess I'll do that. I have them all in one thing. So much. Moons are solar powered beings in the vein of Kryptonians. And, okay. So they're kind of like those superhero figures, but they kind of became. Kind of became that odd. Okay. Oh gosh, that's that's a lot. Stonewall flares are no joke. Let's see, let's choose eye hole. Hey. Um, not secondary family. Religion, Temple of Union. Um, is it not? I don't like this, and I can't. If I didn't make it, I just can't choose it. That'll make it difficult. Temple of Union. I wanted to think about this. I thought it would be kind of cool. to use this, but I don't like that I have to have certain types of articles created. Weird. Yeah, I don't have to worry about any of that. I guess I can look at name. Oh, that's easy. Priestess. Union. So far as what kills them, it's the long period of darkness that happens after that. Okay, so it kind of... Oh, so it's more than like a solar flare. Like, so like the sun kind of went out.
Okay. How did everybody else survive if they didn't, though? Okay. Well, um, I'm actually running out of time here, um, but I am here every week, and I'd love to hear more um, if you come back. Um, I also stream No Man's Sky on Thursdays and so tomorrow, but um, next I'll be back next Wednesday on this live stream. Um, but I really appreciate you showing up. Thank you so much, and it's been really interesting hearing about your story. Um, I'd love to hear more, and... Um, read more when it comes out and good luck finding an artist i think that'd be pretty cool but yeah so um i'm gonna stop here for tonight i think i need to figure out what's going on with this program here because i thought i had this all set up and i apparently don't but yeah you have a good one too and uh thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and it was it was cool chatting with you